oh wow, this must be one of the most ultimate EDC knives I have ever seen. Hello and welcome back to the show. Today's video, we're checking out the MKM knives. This is coming straight from Italy, which is the Mano Manogo Manugo knife makers. If you're not familiar with those, those are it's a brand new, it's not a brand new company, but it's brand new to the United States market. Not everybody really knows about those knives. The coolest thing about those is that every single knife comes with a small small <laughs> tool and what it gives you is the possibility to go around and dissect the knife look at that although this is not the best tool to open it and I'll show you later on in the video this is definitely one of the coolest things that you get because you have two tools in one and you can open those knives and close them which means that if you get more than one of those you can go ahead and interchange everything here this is what I like about this knife the best is the ability to customize it so if you don't like the blue thing over here you can get one with an orange and flip it around with another knife. If you like the green one over there, you can flip it as well. You can flip the blades too. If you don't like the blades, you can flip it with another one. So you can actually make it the best knife and create your own EDC looking knife from a bunch of those. So just buy like two to three of them, uh, take them apart and create your ultimate, your own knife and get rid of the rest of them on eBay. So I think it's really a really cool concept. I don't think that's what they thought when they created this, but who knows, maybe in Italy, this is the thing you actually do in your spare time. And it's much more cool than the Chinese made knife. So my favorite new knife is the MKM, Climb the Edge. This is made in actually Italy. And they're called the Man Rego, Man Rego knife makers that is what it stands for each one comes with a very nice tool that you can modify the actual knife and with an instruction booklet right here for you not much instructions for you to really read but I just want to show you what it comes in the box. This is definitely my new favorite knife out there. And why is that? First of all, it is small, it is slim, and it is cool looking. Next thing is its size, or lack of it that is. In the United States, this translates into five and a half inches long. In European size, it's about 14 centimeters. And right here, talking about almost two and one fourth of an inch on this one, and this one is about two inches. Now, on this side, we have three and one fourth over here as well. Same thing. Obviously, this has been made for European specs. This is why the size of it makes no sense in terms of inches whatsoever. Now, when it comes to different knives, one thing that also comes to mind with something equivalent is the baby boat no. How to pronounce? But it is almost identical in its size as well here. And you can see that they are almost identical in every specification. But this is just so much more cool looking. 
but the problem is the price so this one comes around almost 70 bucks this one goes around 90 but I found this on sale right now and I'm not gonna tell you well <laughs> for 72 bucks but you have to buy two of them which makes this almost a no-brainer why would I want to get the Chinese cheap knife when I can get the Italian cool knife for almost the same identical price but I have to get two that's okay I'll keep two see how easily this thing opens on the other hand well it still opens pretty cool now one thing that you cannot do with this knife is that you can't swing it open but guess what? If you get the different, the 90 door version, which almost never goes on sale, which is this one right here, it has this coolest feature right here where you can flip this open from the back. See? That is awesome. Although my finger holds from that thing. It is not easy to do this. You have to apply unbelievable amount of force for this to flick up like that. It's really hard. See my finger right here, you can see the mark on this. It's not really made for you to try to flick this up like that. I guess maybe over time it's going to get used to it. But that is cool. That you can flick it up. Oh, maybe I'm getting used to it more. Just like that. And this makes it, this one, even better of a knife than the other one. Now, it doesn't actually come looking like this. I went ahead, I bought two of them, and I flipped the blades around because I decided I like this one. I like the styling of this one way more than that one. I don't like the blue on here. But that's a personal preference here. It also comes with this cool, really slim thing that you can put on in your pocket. You can see that I did switch this one for a slim one as well, but look how hard, this is hard, hardcore right now, for the pocket clips, that is. Now I like this, that it has this thing here that you can flick it open easily, open this one up, see, I like that. This is also a very lightweight and it feels kind of cheap. After comparing to this, it feels really cheap too. In terms of cutting power, it's pretty good. So, in terms of cutting power, let's demonstrate. Wow. Right out of the box. Very sharp too. I like that. So I think it didn't get a little bit dirty. Hmm. Not trying to destroy the knives. But it's pretty good in terms of putting it on. The mark right here. Both pretty decent. Doesn't leave any marks on the blade, which is good. Now in terms of the frigid factor, the fun factor, this has the fun thing that you can just flip it open like that. 
this doesn't have this feature because it doesn't have this thing that you can flick it open. You have to use this to open it. The fun fact though is this right here that makes you be able to flick it like that, open up. The only thing that is equivalent to it is this one right there. If you pay the extra money, you can do the fun factor by pressing it really hard and it flies open for you, which is kind of impressive. Both knives are pretty decent looking. You have a choice between the surrogate edge and the normal one. The good thing about surrogate edge, although it is more expensive, is that it never goes dual. If you can use it forever, you don't need to sharpen it up. On this one, the normal blade, after a while it goes dual and you have to sharpen it up. So I usually go for the surrogate edge in most cases. In terms of handling, you can see that if you have to cut something, you can use four fingers here. That's pretty good grip that it gives you. This one doesn't have as good of a grip here. It's not really made for your hand to grip as good. And if you need to really put the four finger or you have pretty large hands, you have to put this in the riskier position right here, which is really close to the blade right there. Which still you can actually do. It's still doable here and you can use a lot of force from the top. On the other hand, put most fingers on this one. If you need to, you can put it right here. But with this type of a blade, this is way riskier. Right here, you can kind of cut yourself. You put your finger right here. You can see it right there. If you need to use another finger, you go for this one right here instead. Because right here, if you put the finger with the surrogate one, it's much safer. You can still use it if you have big fingers. If you have big hands and fingers, uh, maybe this is not for you. This is kind of a miniature. Oh, I do have large hands, but if you have a giant hand, pretty big hands, this might not be the right knife for you. The knife itself is well built. I was expecting this to be a little bit better built than it looks like, but it's still a very decent build to the knife. It definitely doesn't feel as cheap as the Chinese made counterpart of the Civic. It is an awesome looking knife. And if you can get this on sale for a good price, it is also much cool and awesome looking. And it has four different blade. Actually, I think it has a like yeah, four, four different blade styles, and those are just two of them that I, I think it has about that amount, maybe three of them, and those are two that you can see here, and it comes with different color codes as well, so it's a very cool knife, I really like it, I think it's really worth the money, I think that's going to become my everyday carry because it's just so cool looking. It fits everything that I need in a knife. You can see how small this thing is. Same thing, it's just as small. It's not flattening. It is something that equivalent to a pocket knife. And you can take this in most places without any specific trouble that you will get into. Of course, in New York City, you can't have any kind of knives, but most places. This is decent, it's just like any different knife that you'll be using just for food and everything else. It is made exactly for that. Everyday carry, different purposes. Great knife for all around needs for you to use and not be afraid to use it because it's not really priced too high. It's priced affordable, you'll be able to afford, use and carry when you need and 
in case you need one. One of the most interesting features of this knife is when you take a look and you put this together, just like that, you will see that when it closes up, it actually looks like you can open it from both directions, but you can't. I think it is just to make it look kind of pretty. That is actually like designed. But the cool thing is that as you can see that where the blue is, this is where the handle is. Where the black is, is where the knife is. And it's something that takes a little time to get used to. Other than that, I really like the execution, the concept, and the way it looks when you go ahead and open it and take it out. The biggest question is, should you actually buy one of those knives? My answer is yes. If the price is right and if you can get this on sale, it is even a better deal. For EDC purposes, it gives you everything you need in a small knife for you to carry and to use. The great thing about this knife is ergonomics. It is easy for you to go ahead and grab and it is not threatening. It doesn't look like one of those big knives and it is designed for you to use everyday carry and to abuse it as well. The price of it is pretty cheap, which makes it very nice everyday carry knife for you to use. My rating for this is about 9.5 stars out of 10. It is almost a perfect knife. In fact, I have almost no reason to chip any kind of style out of it. The only reason I chip half a style is that sometimes you can get this much cheaper. Another reason why is that I don't like that most of them don't have a surrogate edge to them. And the ones that do have this weird looking surrogate edge to them, which is still pretty good. But I wish they had another kind that had a surrogate edge to it. Other than that, this knife might be one of my most perfect and one of the most awesomest knives that I own right now. And you should as well. If you did enjoy this video, make sure you smash the thumbs up button. Let me know which knife you're going to be getting for yourself and what do you think of this knife. Would you actually get one of those for yourself for everyday carry? Do you like it? And which one would you decide for you to own and use as well? Post the comments right down below so we can have some discussion. And smash the thumbs up button if you did enjoy and like this video. And please subscribe to see more videos like this or other video reviews on this channel.